Hi guys, this is Shay with Chalkin' with Shay. Um, today we're going to do a Halloween project that I'm excited about. And we're going to be using a whole new surface that I have not used before. So, this is the Diagonal Palette Board by Chalk Couture. It is, um, looks like it's a 12 by 18 size. And it's just really fun. And actually, you know what? I think I need to, I need to wax this guy. Hang on just one minute. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I am back with my wax. So... This is Minwax Paste Finishing Wax. And this is what you want to use when you're working with a board. I mean, when you're working with wood. So I'm just going to take a paper towel here. And I think what's really best is to use a soft cloth. I don't happen to have one handy here. So I'm just going to use this. And what this does is it makes it easier to chalk on. So that chalk is going to stay on the surface versus coming up off onto the transfer. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. So let me get this put away. All right, so the project we're going to work on is the Home Sweet Haunted Home. This is going to be a real easy project. I'm just going to be using one color, black. So I'm excited to do an easy, fun project. At least I think it is. Every time I get started on something, I think it's going to be easy and then ends up being a little trickier than I thought. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this off. And since we're working with a larger transfer, we want to kind of pull the backing off of the transfer like this, if you can see me doing that. And this way it prevents it from getting all tangled up and stuff. Okay, so we're just going to um, center this as best as we can. I think this is pretty good. I want to make sure it sticks really well. If you are watching the replay, um, please comment below replay and that way I know that you are here. Okay, so I'm going to use a small squeegee. All right, and we're going to use the black paste. So, I actually just used this black earlier today, so I don't really, well, I guess I will stir it a little. Just to be sure it's good and creamy. Okay, where is everybody today? I don't see anybody on here yet. So I hope you guys watch the replay. Okay, so I'm going to work left to right. And I'm going to pull the transfer up as I go. And, 
I'm going to use the hair dryer too. Okay. Where did my squeegee go? It disappeared. Here it is. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this down a little bit so you guys can see better. Okay. So, let me know when you're here so I don't miss you as I'm working. Home sweet haunted home. Do you guys like Halloween? Do you like to decorate for Halloween? I have not typically been one to decorate for Halloween. I just, and it's not because I don't like it, because I do. Um, the reason I haven't is just out of pure laziness. But now it's so much easier to create gorgeous designs. So I want to create. This looks pretty nasty, but I bet it's going to be pretty. And I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this part up. Yes, it turned out great so far. I probably should have used my four inch handled squeegee but I just didn't even think about it that is what's best on these large project projects almost done already. I told you it was going to be a quick one. Almost done. Let me, I'm going to grab off as much of the excess as I can. Okay. Oh, it looks awesome. It turned out really good, guys. So, nobody has joined me. I'm doing this live all by myself. That feels weird. Okay, so um, let me show you what we have. Home sweet haunted home. Do you see the cute little um, spider over there? Hey Lisa, thanks for joining us. So um, unfortunately Lisa, you have missed the live. I am almost done. Nobody has joined me yet. Um, this was a very quick project. I got that done in about literally 10 minutes. So, um, Okay, so this is a project that we just completed, Home Sweet Haunted Home. I love it, it took about 10 minutes, so since you missed most of that, um, you should go back and watch the replay. Um, I wanted to show you guys also, if any of you who are watching are um, local to me, which is in, um, I'm in Westchester, Ohio, which is um, near Cincinnati in Day the Dayton area, um, I do, monthly workshops and one of the workshops that we're going to be doing in October I believe is this cute little Frankenstein guy and what's great about him is that he was made with our nutcracker design hi Margaret 
Um, he was made with our nutcracker design, so you can totally do, um, that's what I love about our transfers is that you can um, create them however you want. So on the back of this, I'm gonna make it the nutcracker, make it look like a Christmas nutcracker. So you have a dual um, design here. I'm gonna sneeze, I apologize. Um, oh, goodness. <laughs> Anyways, um, so if you're local to me and you want to make this, this is going to be one of my workshops. It's coming. <coughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> um, so I hope that you can join us while we make these cute little Frankenstein guys, which you can then use later in December for Christmas and the Nutcracker. I'm going to sneeze again. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so um, Margaret, you, unfortunately you missed the live. I did a really fast one and um, I got done in about 15 minutes. So go back and watch the replay. And um, thank you guys for, <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you for watching and um, make sure that you join me. I'm gonna be on here again this week probably tomorrow. Um, I try to get on here every single day unless something major is going on with my family. So um, if, any, if you are new to this, if you have not heard of Chat Couture before, um, comment below newbie and I will make sure you get some information about who we are and what we are and how you can make some extra money with us or um, use this just for, you know, in addition to whatever other crafting you typically do. Um, because this is a great way to, it's, it's a great addition. If you have a crafting business, it's a really great addition to that. It goes hand in hand with the Cricut. So if you're doing any kind of crafting with the Cricut, um, this is a whole lot easier because it's just stencils. It's just chalk and stencils. So you just chalk it on take it off and there's no weeding it's just super easy and um and you can um just make your life a whole lot simpler by using this wherever you can and then for the things that you that you know like if somebody wants uh you to make them a design that we do not have a transfer for then you can just use a cricket and then that's where you have the weeding and all of that but um both i i find that i like to have both the cricket and chalk couture for all of my crafting crafting needs so um it's just it's just a great extra little um side thing for you so anyways um if you have any questions please let me know comment below whatever questions you might have and i will talk to you all later so thank you so much for joining me and um, for those of you who missed it we made this fun project today home sweet haunted home and it took me literally like 10 to 15 minutes to do this actually probably minus all the talking about 10 minutes it was so easy all right, um, guys, talk to you later. Bye-bye.